Did you cause a narcissistic injury? You may be wondering if something you have said or done has hurt the narcissist or if your actions have made some sort of impact on their life because it can be difficult to tell. They are hypersensitive so any little thing could set them off but they won't often let you know. They won't even tell you about it. They won't communicate to you that your behavior has hurt them because they don't want to be vulnerable. But there are certain signs to look for that will reveal to you if you have caused a narcissistic injury. If you have caused a narcissistic injury, they will react in ways that seem surprising or unreasonable. It will be too excessive, exaggerated or extreme. It will seem inappropriate to what is actually happening. And in a way that is outrageous, unbelievable, ridiculous, unfair, unreasonable or unexpected. but it's because they perceive you as a threat to their false character and the illusion that they are creating. So even a small disagreement or a single independent statement with no dependent clauses attached to it will trigger an explosive and exaggerated reaction from a narcissist. which reveals that you have made them feel angry, upset, or humiliated. And this is something that will inevitably take place because they cannot regulate their own emotions. They can't comfort themselves when they're unhappy or distressed, which is why they always need to have a source of supply. They need to have someone who they hold responsible for looking after them because they can't take care of themselves. They lack discipline and self-control. So they can't contain their emotions. They're essentially an emotional toddler in an adult's body. Which is why if something goes wrong or if they can't get their way, they will have a temper tantrum. They will lash out. They will throw a hissy fit they will have a meltdown because they could not manage their own emotional distress. They can't take care of themselves so they depend on other people to meet their wants and needs which is why they will have these dramatic reactions because while they may loathe you they also crave your attention. In the same way that a child needs its mother to soothe them, they need someone to make them feel safe, protected and secure because they have all of these fears and anxieties and they cannot self-regulate because they have deep-rooted insecurities and a fragile ego. They have a constant need for validation and admiration which drives them to seek control over you as a means to boost their self-esteem. So they will make you feel like it's your job to regulate their emotions and to prevent them from getting angry. And it's why small disagreements can turn into something dramatic and extreme. But sometimes the narcissist will just give it the silent treatment because it's meant to act as a form of punishment when they feel like you have insulted them or when they feel like you have not given them the proper attention that they deserve. So if the narcissist has suddenly become reserved, detached or standoffish, it's likely because they feel distressed or annoyed which is why they will avoid communication with you and they will ignore you.
because they want to express their feelings of anger, irritation, annoyance and disapproval to you without having to announce it clearly and distinctly. Because they have a fear of vulnerability. They're terrified of being rejected, abandoned or exposed. So if they are removing communication, it's because you have made them feel angry, upset or ashamed. And they may act cold and distant. But it's actually because they are silently obsessing over you as a result of the effect that you have had on their deep feelings. But if you have caused a narcissistic injury, they may also project their insecurities onto you and blame you for everything. They will deflect responsibility. They will act like everything is your fault. They will accuse you of everything that has gone wrong. They will blame you for literally everything because you have exposed the truth and they cannot deal with it. Which is why they will project their shortcomings onto you. They will project their faults and failures to meet a certain standard in their own character plan or system. They will project their defects, imperfections, deficiencies and limitations to protect their fragile self-image because deep down they actually have a very poor opinion of themselves. They have an overall poor sense of self-value which is why they do what they do. They will never tell you that you have caused a narcissistic injury but they will show you with their behaviours how you have made them feel. They will become defensive and they will see everything that you say or do as an attack against them. Once they are injured, they will only be able to project or deflect their own negative behaviours, emotions or traits onto you and they may be doing this without their awareness. As they struggle to hide their uncomfortable inner conflicts, imperfections and shortcomings. But it will have an effect on you and you will feel yourself becoming less and less like yourself because they're constantly offloading their feelings of inadequacy and insecurity onto you. To deflect criticism and shift the blame away from themselves to maintain their perfect self-image. It is a defense mechanism which can often lead to problematic and potentially dangerous outcomes because they're trying to avoid their responsibilities and imperfections by projecting them onto you so that they can maintain the illusion of being faultless which is why they can never really explain themselves they can't express what is going on they can only talk in circles or with word salad they will talk about things in an indirect and confusing way that fails to directly answer or address anything. They will argue a point by repetition, sometimes using different words, but without making any progress. They will just keep returning to the same points. They will say a lot of things but they won't make any sense. They can assert their views, but in a way that appears very unsettled and unstable, because they're trying to put their understanding or perception of you onto you, when it isn't even true. But it's what they do when they feel threatened and when they feel like they're being exposed because they don't like their faults being revealed. They don't like it when you emphasize certain details or events, especially those that are of major significance and special interest. They want to hide all of it. They don't want people to know what they're like. 
And this is why you can't even have a normal conversation with them. You can't talk about things that are upsetting you. Because they're just going to blame you. They're going to deflect all of it onto you. So there will never be a resolution. Because it's not like you can talk to them and work things out. You can't grow together with a narcissist. Because it's not a partnership. They will never agree to cooperate to advance mutual interests. It will only ever be all about themselves. Which is why they will always put the blame onto you. Because it makes them feel better. And that's what they want. They want to elevate themselves at your expense. They feel empowered by making you feel insignificant. And that's why they do it. Because they're not interested in a healthy relationship. They're not interested in working together and working things out. And that is why they deflect the blame onto you. To make you feel bad. And to make you take responsibility. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.